Hello, today we will discuss calculating the current in a single loop circuit. So the current in a single loop circuit can be calculated in two ways. The first way is the energy method. For example, this is a circuit. Here you see a battery B and the current flows from positive terminal all the way to the resistor comes down and then come back to the point A and comes back to the negative terminal of the battery. So a single loop circuit in which a resistance R is connected across an ideal battery. Keep in mind, we consider this battery to be an ideal. And what is meant by ideal battery? Where the internal resistance is zero. The resulting current I is the same throughout the circuit. We also assume that the current I flowing all the way in the whole circuit, this remains constant. What does it mean? It means the resistance inside the wire is zero. So both these wires, the upper and down wires, they don't have any resistance and the current remains constant. We know this equation P is equal to I square R where P is the power delivered to the charges and I is the current and R is the res resistance of this resistor. So in a time interval dt, an amount of energy given by I square R dt will appear in the resistor. So this energy energy gained by the charges that is provided by the battery B and that energy appear in the resistors. So we know the equation dq is equal to I dt. It means in the same time interval, in the same time interval of dt, this charge is uh, th this amount of charge that will be appearing. So work done on the charge by the battery will be here. Of course, when the charges are lifted from lower potential negative terminal to the higher potential positive terminal, the work is done on the charges. And that work done on the charge by the battery, that will be dW is equal to EMF dq and if you put the value of dq from here idt and substitute the value here so it will become EMF idt. So from the principle of conservation of energy the work done by the battery which is ideal in this case it must be equal to the thermal energy that appears in the resistor. So the work done by the battery and the charges that must be equal to the thermal energy which is appearing in the resistor R. This is the law of conservation of energy. So we can write that EMF I dt is equal to I square R dt where I is the current and R is the resistor and dt is the time interval. So we can write this equation as EMF is equal to I R if you cancel out dt on both sides and cancel out one I on the left side and one I on the right side, this will become EMF is equal to IR. So the EMF is the energy per unit charge transferred to the moving charges by the battery. The quantity IR, this is the energy per unit charge transferred from the moving charges to the thermal energy. So these moving charges basically transfer the energy to the, to the thermal energy within the resistor. So what does it mean? This means that the energy per unit charge transferred to the moving charges is equal to the energy per unit charge transferred from them. We can rewrite this equation in the form of, in this form. So a, a current is equal to EMF over R. So you see this equation, we, what did we do? We calculated current in a single loop circuit by energy method. We started from the energy 
energy delivered to to the to the moving charges by the battery that appeared in the in the resistor in the form of thermal energy and we derived this equation current is equal to emf over r next method is the potential method this is another method method by which you can calculate the current in in, in a circuit in a single loop circuit again the, the same circuit here battery current resistor higher potential lower potential it means when the current goes from higher potential to the lower potential the voltage drops so a single loop circuit in which a resistance r is connected across ideal battery with emf the resulting current i is the same throughout the circuit okay so the battery drives current through the resistor from high potential to the low potential so when the current goes from high potential to the low potential and it moves around in the whole circuit you see it is moving clockwise that is driven by the battery so the algebraic sum of of the changes in the potential encounter in a complete traversal of any loop of a circuit must be zero so we want to see that for example when you move from a to b so e may be positive and when you go around clockwise in this circuit and when you reach to this point so the potential which is positive in this ter terminal which is higher potential since the current flowing in in the resistor uh, sorry in 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 these wires that remains constant which means that the internal resistance of the current of the wire is zero so the potential which is appearing at positive terminal of the battery the same potential appears at the at 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 the upper part of the resistor so this is higher potential because it is connected to the higher potential of the battery similarly this this part of the resistor it is at lower potential why because it is connected to the negative terminal of the battery so in simple words we can say that the potential which is appearing at the lower part of the battery the same potential appears here at the lower part of the resistors and the potential which appears at positive terminal of the battery the same potential appears at the upper part of the resistors why the reason is that these wires the two wires the upper and lower wires they have zero internal resistance okay so this is basically the kirchhoff's loop rule or 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 kirchhoff's voltage law he was a german scientist in who proposed that so we want to see if we apply this rule we want to see that what happens so when we pass through the battery to the high potential terminal the change is in potential is positive emf okay when you go from low potential to the high potential we say that the change in potential is positive so when it is positive here and then when you go from high potential to the low potential the change in emf is negative so if we start at point a so the potential at point a is va and then when you pass through this battery the emf is positive so we just add positive and when you come when you go from 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 high potential to the low potential the voltage drops in the emf and we say that ir is negative so minus ir so the kirchhoff law basically tells us that when you start from a point and you return to the the same point so the potential at that point must be must be same it, it should remain constant so if you add this uh, emf and ir to the va that, that should be equal to va and you see 
the V and V will be cancelled from both sides and what will be left EMF minus IR is equal to 0. So I is equal to EMF by R. So again you see we calculated the current of the single loop circuit but by the potential method. We started from the potential. So if we apply loop, loop rule to a complete counterclockwise walk around the circuit, the rules gave us negative. It, it should be then negative EMF. So it will be like this minus EMF plus IR is equal to zero. But in both cases, you see that I is equal to EMF over R. Even if you go counterclockwise, so it means it doesn't depend upon which way you travel, whether you start from point A and you go like this clockwise or you start from point A and you go in this way counterclockwise. In the equation you will get I is equal to EMF or R in both cases. So the resistance rule is for a move through a resistance in the direction of the current like in this case we we went in the direction of the current. The change in potential is negative minus IR. That's why we added here minus IR. In the opposite direction, it is plus IR. If you go from low potential to the higher potential, for example, if you would start from point A and we go in this way, counterclockwise, then when you will move from this point to that point, then the change in potential will be plus IR because you go from low potential to the high potential. And the EMF rule is that for a move through an ideal EMF device in the direction of the EMF, so you, you see this is the direction of the EMF, the change in the potential is positive EMF. But if you go from positive terminal to the negative terminal, it means if, if this is the direction of your travel, means opposite to the direction of EMF, then the change in the EMF will be minus EMF. So it will be then minus EMF. So, hope it is clear. Please don't hesitate to ask questions in the comments below. I'll try to answer all of your questions. Thank you very much.